Good day to all. Welcome to DSE Third Sem Automobile Engineering. We welcome you to Mechanical Measurements and Metrology Lab. Here we are Farhan with Fadil and Varun. We are going to be conducting the experiment calibration of external micrometer. Without further delay, let's start the experiment. Aim of the experiment is to calibrate the micrometer with slip gauges to find periodic and progressive errors. The apparatus used in this experiment are micrometer stand, micrometer and slip gauges. My friend Fadil is going to explain the parts of the micrometer. So now I will be going into more detail about the micrometer. Uh, the micrometer was invented by uh, William Gascoigne. So the parts of the micrometer are, uh, this is the anvil, this is called the spindle, uh, this is the locking lever, uh, this is the main scale reading, this is the bony scale reading and this is the circular scale reading. This is known as a thimble and this is the knurling. The knurling is used to get a better grip on the micrometer and this is called the ratchet. It is used to adjust the spindle. I will be talking about the slip gauge. Uh, in this box there are 83 pieces. Uh, so a slip gauge is a rectangular block of high grade steel which is used as a standard for measuring precise lengths. Uh, now my friend Warren will be running you through the procedure and the observations of the experiment. So getting into the procedure and the observation of the experiment. The procedure of the experiment. The micrometer is placed firmly between the jaws of the stand while taking readings. The slip gauge of preferable thickness is placed between the jaws of the micrometer and is locked. Now getting into the observation of the experiment. As it is visible, it is, it is relevant to estimate the zero error and the least count of the instrument before starting our calculations and our observations. As it, is, as it is seen, this micrometer has no zero error, that is either positive zero error or negative zero error. The main scale of the micrometer has 25 mm and the number of divisions within this 25 mm are 50 divisions. So the least count of the main scale would be 25 divided by 50 which is 0 0.5 mm. Getting into the circular scale or the timber scale with one rotation of the circular scale, one division of the main scale is covered. So the least count of the circular scale or the timber scale is 0 0.5 divided by 50 which is 0 0.01. The vernier scale comprises of 10 divisions. With one rotation of the circular scale, 10 divisions of the vernier scale are covered. So the least count of the vernier scale is 0 0.01 divided by 10 is equal to 0 0.001. When I say 0 0.001, the unit is in millimeters. Just as the name of the inst instrument suggests, it is a micrometer. So it is able to measure in microns, that is 10 past minus 6 meters. For the sake of easy observations, the readings which we have considered here of thickness are 1 mm, 2 mm, 3 mm. The external micrometer taken for reference here has no zero error, that is either positive zero error or negative zero error. Now getting into the readings of this experiment, 
a slip gauge of 1 mm thickness as a standard reference is locked between the jaws of the micrometer this slip gauge of 1 mm thickness is locked between the jaws of the micrometer as it is seen this reading wherein the zero of the head scale is coinciding with the reference line on the main scale the reading on the head main scale is 1 mm now in order to calculate the readings msr value is equal to 1 mm the hsr value which is the head scale reading is 0 into 0.01 mm is equal to 0 the vernier scale reading or the vsr value is equal to 0 into 0.001 is again zero therefore the total reading is equal to msr plus hsr plus vsr is equal to 1 plus 0 plus 0 is equal to 1.000 mm for the second reading a slip gauge of 2 mm thickness is locked between the jaws of the micrometer now finding out the readings which is exhibited in this micrometer the main scale has a reading of 2 mm the reference line on the main scale is coinciding with the first division on the head scale in order to calculate the value the msa value which was recorded was 2 mm the hsa value is equal to the coinciding division into least count is equal to 1 into 0.01 is equal to 0.01 mm the vernier scale reading was 0 therefore 0 into 0.001 is equal to 0 mm therefore the total reading is equal to 2 Plus 0.01 plus 0 is equal to 2.01 mm. For your easy understanding, a tabulated column of the values and a graph is attached for your reference. I would like to conclude this video by taking this opportunity to thank uh, first and foremost our instructor secondly our department and lastly our college for giving us this opportunity and thank you all for uh, watching patiently